Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Innovate Yourself. My name is Ashish Saini. In today's session you will learn how to upload the real time data coming from the soil moisture sensor and to further upload it to the web server that we will create in our today's session. As you all know that we have already done the web server part in a previous session as well. But in our today's session our part is to upload the real time data on the web server not to control the appliances from the web server. So let's begin with that. So for that our first step is to create the hardware part or you can say we have to interface the sensor with the node MCU to further do the processing for the real time uploading of the data on the web server. So for that firstly let's start by creating the hardware part and further we will start with the software part. So let's begin with that. So here you are having the connections of your node MCU with the sensor which we are going to connect and the sensor which we are using in our today's session is the soil moisture sensor and further we will be uploading the data coming from the soil moisture sensor and we will be displaying it on the web server and that will be a real time data right. So for that let's see the connections for that. So in here you can see this is the pins for the sensors and these are the pins for the node MCU. So we will be connecting in such a way in which VCC will be connected to 3 volt, ground will be connected to ground, AO will be connected to the A0 pin on your node MCU. So you have to make the connections in such a way. Now let's make the connections in the hardware section so that we can further write the program for that. So let's make the connection for that. So here we have the connections for your node MCU with your soil moisture sensor that we are going to use for your uploading of real time data on web server. So this is node MCU and here is the connection using the male to female jumpers and which we are connecting to the module connected to the soil moisture sensor and now we can start further to write the program for this so that we can upload the real time data coming from the soil moisture sensor on the web server. So let's begin with that. So we have made the connections of node MCU with the soil moisture sensor. Now let's move further and start writing the code for this circuit so that we can accordingly upload the real time data on the web server. So for that just open the Erdiano where we are having the code so that we can understand what we have to do in that to upload the real time data on the web server. So let's open Erdiano. So we have the Erdiano open on the screen and on the screen we are having the code to upload the real time data on the web server. Now let's move further and let's understand the code to upload the real time data on the web server. So for that firstly you have to add the header files which we need to upload the data on the web server. So for that we are using three header files. The first one is ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h then Wi-Fi client.h then ESP8266 web server.h. So this file you may not be having on your system. So if in case you are not having this then you have to install it using the methods which I have already shown you in the previous sessions. So in case you do not know how to do that then just refer to the previous videos and then continue with that. But still if you do not know then don't worry let me just tell you a short brief of that. So you have to go to sketch then go to include library and go to manage libraries and on that you will be able to see a new window and in that you have to write this ESP8266 web server and you just have to install it. So you have to install it like that. Now let's move further. After that we are going to take two variables in which we will be writing the names which is the SSID and the password which we will be using to connect the node MCU to the Wi-Fi which we want to connect to. So we will be using these two variables for that. So that's why I have written the SSID and the password for that. And now let's start a new server so that we can accordingly use it to connect to the server and accordingly upload the data or you can say to upload the real time data on the web server or you can say the web page which we will create in this session. So for that you have to use ESP8266 web server space 
server so we are going to initialize a server with a port number which is the http port of around 80 port so we will be using that and we are initializing it with the name server so that we can write server every time we want to call it or every time we want to use it so we will be using it like that after that we will create two more variables the first one will be of string type which will contain the html text which will be used to display on the web server whenever we will upload the data on the web server so we will be using this for that and after that we will be creating one more variable of double type and this will be used to store the value coming from the sensor and accordingly upload this value on the web server to use it in further process so we will be using for that and after that your next step is to start or you can say you have to define the mode for your pin which we will be connecting to the soil moisture sensor to the node mcu so we will be using this which is a0 and we are defining it as the input pin so that we can read the data from that after that what you have to do is you have to initialize a serial monitor with a baud rate of around 115 to 00 which is a by default baud rate for your wi-fi module and also you have to connect it to the wi-fi so how we connect to the Wi-Fi you know this because we have already done it in the previous session as well so in case you do not know then you can better refer to that because I cannot explain it again and again so for now you just keep in mind that we are using this code to connect a node MCU to the Wi-Fi to have an internet connection so we are going to use it in that way after that what we will do is we will just display the IP address so this is to just display the IP address using which we will be uploading or we will be displaying the data on the web server coming from the soil moisture sensor so this will display the IP address for that and after that we have to start a server so that we can accordingly start the browser using this IP address and on that IP address or you can say on that website we will be displaying some text or you can say we will be displaying some content which will contain the data coming from the soil moisture sensor with some text written over that so we will be using like this so this will be some text sensor to node mcu web server and data and with that data we will be displaying the value coming from the soil moisture sensor which we want to display on the web server on the real time so we will be using it like that so this is a html content so we are storing it in the page and accordingly we will send this data on the server to display it every time you will open your web server or you can say when you will open your web server using the IP address which you will see on here right so we will be using it like that so for that we have written the command send server dot send within bracket 200 comma text slash HTML as this is a HTML file that's why I am writing text slash HTML so that your server will automatically consider it as a HTML page and accordingly display the contents written from that so we will be using this and that's why I have sent the page variable with this text right so that's why it will display the page with this content with some value coming from the soil moisture sensor so we will be using it like that after that we will all right this server dot begin so that it can display all the values on the web server and accordingly when this step is done it will display some message on the serial monitor so for that i'm writing serial dot print ln within bracket web server started so this will tell you that your web server has started now you can further send the values continuously on the web server to display it on the web server so you will work it like that and after that your next step is to continuously check the values coming from the soil moisture sensor and to further upload it on the web server which you have created using this page variable and also using this text slash html so that it will display some text file with the html content so after that you know how to read the data from the sensor because this we have already done in the previous session as well but in this case what we are going to do is we are just going to read the value from the soil moisture sensor using this analog read command and accordingly we are just converting it in the case of percentage so we just want to display the moisture content in percentage form so that's why i'm applying this formula and accordingly this will 
store some value in the data and this data will be uploaded to the server like here you can see string data so this will upload the value on the server in this format and also we will be displaying that whether our land requires to see the water or not so for that i am just checking the condition if data is greater than equals to 60 then it will display a message as soil is good and if in case your value is less than that then it will display a message as need to see water that means you have to send or supply some water to the land so that your moisture content gets increased so in this way you are going to do use it and after that your last and the very important part is to write this command server dot handle client so that every time you will get a new value it will upload that value on the server which you have created with this html content so in this way you will be able to upload the data on the web server in this format so this was the complete code to upload the data on the web server in the real time now let's do one thing let's connect your node mcu to the system and accordingly we will upload the data on the web server now let's connect the node mcu to the system so that we can accordingly check that whether the program is working or not so let's just connect it So your board is connected to the system. Now let's select the port and board. So the board is already selected and the port is also selected which we have connected just now which is COM7. Now let's do one thing. Let's upload the code and check that whether we are able to upload the code and upload the real time data on the web server or not. So for that let's just upload it. So click on upload. So this will upload the data on the web server and accordingly we will check the data on the web server using the IP address which it will show here on the serial monitor using this wifi.local IP command. Now open serial monitor. So this will try to connect your node MCU to the Wi-Fi which you are going to connect to. So when it is connected you will get an IP address 192 dot like this. So uh, let's just open a new browser and just type this IP address and check what values you are going to get. So just open a new browser. Now just type the IP address. Press enter. See, here you can see it is showing you one message as sensor to node MCU web server data and data is displaying as 0, 0.00. That means you are not connecting your soil moisture sensor to the sand or anywhere. So here you can see I haven't connected it anywhere. So that's why it is displaying it like that. So your next step is to just insert it inside the sand and accordingly we will check that what values we are going to get. So let's just insert it inside the land and accordingly check the moisture for that. Now let's dip the soil moisture sensor inside the sand and accordingly we will check the soil moisture content in the sand. So let's just dip it inside and now let's check the soil moisture. So it is showing zero. Now let's do one thing. Let's just reload it. So it is taking a while. So here you can see it is showing 66.70. That means your sand is around 66.70 filled with moisture. So that's why you can see it is showing you 66.70%. But before it was not showing you like that and let's refresh it again so maybe your values got changed so here you can see this is the 
page which we have created and also you can see your value got changed from 66.70 to 66.60 so this is the way how you can check the values or you can say you can upload the real time values on the server so here you have seen every time you want to check the new value coming from the soil moisture sensor then you have to refresh the page from here or you can say from the browser which you are using but I do not want that I want to update the value without refreshing the page and I want to see that as well on my browser so how we will do that so there is a different steps or a different way to do that but that we will not cover in our today's session because it will take a uh, more while so we will definitely cover in our next session but for now this is it and i hope you have understood all the things very clearly and stay tuned to my channel to see how we will upload the real time values without refreshing the page and also we will be able to see that on the web browser so this is it for now and if you have liked this video then click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos and also you can share your views about the videos and the content that i am providing you so that i can give you the best output and the best content that you want from me and also you can suggest me if you want want me to make some kind of a videos of your kind so that it will be beneficial for you in future so stay tuned to my channel till then bye bye and have a nice day